In the spring of 2024, a faint moving speck of light appeared in the data stream of the Atlas Survey in Hawaii, the Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System, a network of telescopes built to spot anything headed toward Earth. What the system found that night wasn't a threat, but it was unlike anything astronomers had seen since Oumuamua in 2017. The object's speed, brightness, and trajectory instantly set off alerts across observatories worldwide. Within days, astronomers confirmed the discovery. Another interstellar visitor had entered our solar system. Its name, 3I Atlas, the third confirmed interstellar object ever observed. From that moment, telescopes on Earth and in orbit turned to follow it. Its path was unmistakable, hyperbolic, meaning it wasn't bound to the sun. It was moving too fast to be captured by solar gravity, traveling on a one-way journey through our system before disappearing forever into interstellar space. But it wasn't just the trajectory that fascinated researchers. It was what the object was doing as it approached. When the first detailed images came in, scientists noticed that 3I Atlas wasn't behaving like a normal comet or asteroid. Its brightness was inconsistent, flickering in strange rhythms. At certain angles, it glowed green, at others, reddish-brown. Spectroscopic analysis revealed strong emission from carbon dioxide, a typical cometary gas, but also unusual traces of nickel and almost no iron. This chemical imbalance puzzled experts. Nickel normally remains locked inside solid grains that don't vaporize until they're close to a star. Yet 3I Atlas was venting nickel gas far from the sun, while iron, which should appear alongside it, was missing. NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center called it a chemical outlier. The data suggested that the object had once been heated to extreme temperatures, perhaps during a close pass to another star, and then ejected into space, carrying scars of that encounter. As its orbit carried it toward Mars's distance from the Sun, another mystery emerged. Most comets form a tail that streams away from the Sun as solar radiation pushes gas and dust backward. 3I Atlas did the opposite. Its faint tail, or what appeared to be one, was angled toward the sun, a phenomenon known as an anti-tail. Only a handful of comets have ever shown this feature, and never one of interstellar origin. At first, astronomers thought it might be an optical illusion caused by perspective, but further imaging confirmed the structure was real. By this point, 3I Atlas had become one of the most closely watched objects in the sky. The James Webb Telescope was scheduled for a brief observational window, and when it captured the object in infrared, it revealed something extraordinary. The nucleus of 3I Atlas appeared to be smaller than expected, perhaps only a few hundred meters across, yet it was shedding enormous amounts of gas. Webb detected jets of carbon dioxide erupting from beneath the surface, behaving almost like miniature thrusters. These eruptions could explain the anti-tail. Instead of being pushed by sunlight, material was being propelled forward by gas jets venting from the object's leading side. This kind of activity is rare, but not unheard of. Comet 29P in our own solar system exhibits similar explosive outbursts, earning it the nickname the Volcano Comet. Still, 3I Atlas was operating under entirely different conditions, faster, smaller, and from another star system altogether. Then came another surprise. Using data from multiple telescopes, astronomers determined that the object's rotation period kept changing. At one point, it was spinning roughly every 10 hours. A week later, it slowed to 14. Such variations mean the jets were altering its angular momentum, literally pushing the object into irregular motion. On several nights, photometric readings hinted that it might even be tumbling end over end, a chaotic spin similar to what had been observed in Oumuamua. That comparison was inevitable. 
3i Atlas has often been called the new Oumuamua, but in truth, it sits somewhere between Oumuamua and 2i Borisov, the only other interstellar visitor we've recorded. Oumuamua, discovered in 2017, was cigar-shaped, non-cometary, and displayed no detectable outgassing, leading some to speculate wildly about artificial origins. 2i Borisov, found in 2019, behaved like a normal comet, with a clear coma and tail. 3i Atlas bridges those extremes. It shows cometary activity, but of an unusual asymmetric cunt, and its composition differs markedly from anything in the solar system. At the European Southern Observatory in Chile, researchers used the Very Large Telescope to take high-resolution spectra. They confirmed what earlier measurements hinted at. 3i Atlas contains volatile carbon compounds and heavy metals that suggest it formed closer to its parent star than most comets do. In its early history, it might have passed through an inner planetary zone where heat altered its surface chemistry before gravitational interactions ejected it into interstellar space. The result is an object that tells two stories at once, the violent birth of another solar system and the shared chemistry of planetary formation across the galaxy. Astronomers estimate that interstellar objects like 3i Atlas pass through our solar system more often than we once believed, perhaps several each year, but most are too small or too faint to detect. What makes 3i Atlas special is its brightness and activity, which allowed researchers to study it in detail before it faded. At its closest approach in mid-2025, the comet passed near Mars's orbit, glowing faintly green as it reflected sunlight off its expanding coma. Hubble and ground-based telescopes captured its changing shape over several weeks. The data showed that 3i Atlas was shedding dust grains larger than typical cometary particles, evidence that its surface materials were coarse, possibly metallic. That could explain why its tail structure was so narrow and forward-facing. Larger particles resist radiation pressure and follow ballistic trajectories, creating the illusion of a tail pointing toward the sun. Meanwhile, radio observatories listening in the low-frequency spectrum detected faint bursts of static from the direction of the comet. They weren't signals, but they did reveal turbulence in the solar wind around it, a sign that the comet's gas was interacting electrically with the sun's magnetic field. In effect, 3i Atlas carried a plasma sheath, a kind of miniature magnetosphere. No other comet has shown such a persistent electrical signature so far from the sun. For planetary scientists, these anomalies are gold. Every interstellar object offers a sample of material from another star's planetary system. Pieces of cosmic debris ejected during formation. Studying them is like performing remote geology on worlds we can never visit. 3i Atlas, with its combination of metal vapors, volatile gases, and unpredictable spin, gives us clues about how planets and comets form in environments very different from our own. NASA's Office of Planetary Defense Coordination, which oversees asteroid tracking networks, has proposed new survey strategies to catch future interstellar visitors earlier. The goal is to detect them while they're still inbound, giving scientists enough time to plan observations or even send a spacecraft to intercept one. The idea isn't science fiction. The European Space Agency's upcoming Comet Interceptor mission, set to launch later this decade, is designed precisely for this purpose. It will wait in space, ready to fly by the next suitable target, possibly another interstellar comet. Missions like this could one day analyze material directly, testing whether the chemistry of distant systems matches what Webb and Hubble are now observing from afar. Comparing 3i Atlas to its predecessors highlights how rapidly our understanding is evolving. Oumuamua, the first visitor, shocked astronomers by accelerating slightly without any visible tail. 2i Borisov behaved normally, confirming that interstellar comets can resemble Olkel ones. 3i Atlas now adds a third chapter, a hybrid, chemically exotic body whose behavior defies neat classification.
Together they paint a picture of a galaxy filled with wandering debris, the leftovers of countless worlds forming, colliding, and ejecting fragments into the void. Understanding these wanderers could also help solve a long-standing mystery about how planetary systems evolve. Models of star formation show that young systems produce enormous numbers of comets and asteroids. Over time, gravitational interactions fling many of them into interstellar space. Statistically, our galaxy should be teeming with these objects, but we've only just begun to detect them. That may be because most are small, dark, and cold, invisible until they pass close to the sun. Improved surveys like the Vera C. Rubin Observatory's upcoming All-Sky program will soon change that. Within the next few years, astronomers expect to find dozens more, turning rare events into routine science. Each discovery refines our sense of cosmic connection. The chemical fingerprints of 3i Atlas resemble those of certain meteorites found on Earth, hinting that planetary formation across the galaxy follows universal patterns. The nickel in its vapor points to high temperature processing, a clue that planets around other stars may form closer to their suns and migrate outward, scattering debris as they go. As 3i Atlas moves beyond the reach of telescopes, fading into the darkness between the stars, the data it leaves behind continues to shake research. Spectral archives are being compared with computer models to reconstruct its surface composition and origin. Early simulations suggest that it may have come from a young, sun-like star in the constellation Lynx, where several stellar associations share similar velocities. If that's correct, then the dust and gas it carried have traveled across the galaxy for tens of millions of years, a frozen message from a system that might have once had its own planets, moons, and perhaps even oceans. It's easy to see why these discoveries capture public imagination. Amuamua inspired speculation about alien probes. Borisov reminded us that comets are universal. 3i Atlas, in its quiet, enigmatic way, tells a subtler story, one about the continuity of cosmic processes. It proves that the materials of life, the same carbon and oxygen and metal that built Earth, exist everywhere. From a scientific perspective, the object also underscores how much we still don't know about interstellar space. Are these visitors common? How diverse are they? What do they reveal about the environments that produce them? Every answer leads to new questions. In the coming years, astronomers hope to combine optical, infrared, and radio observations of 3i Atlas to refine its orbit and model its interaction with the solar wind. Some are even exploring the possibility of tracing its outbound trajectory to see whether it might pass near another star in the distant future, turning our solar system into just another waypoint on its endless journey. There's a quiet irony in all this. These fragments of alien systems come to us by accident, not as visitors, but as drifters, carried by gravity and chance. They cross our sky briefly, leaving behind data, fascination, and a reminder that the boundaries between star systems are more porous than we imagined. So as 3i Atlas fades into interstellar darkness, it leaves us with perspective. We now know that the space between stars isn't empty, it's alive with motion, with fragments of other worlds silently passing by. For scientists, each discovery is a treasure of information. For humanity, it's a moment of connection with the vast network of creation stretching across the galaxy. And somewhere out there, another fragment is already on its way, a future 4i, 5i, or beyond, waiting for our telescopes to find it, to remind us once again that the story of the solar system is inseparable from the story of the Milky Way. Until then, 3i Atlas will remain a symbol of how far our technology and our curiosity have come. From faint pixels on a telescope sensor, we've built an entire narrative of its origin, chemistry, and fate. A narrative that links us to stars we may never visit, but whose remnants continue to find us.